The news we're following tonight, we're hearing from a Jacksonville structural engineer about the safety surrounding the Dames Point Bridge. This comes just one day after the National Transportation Safety Board identified the Dames Point as one of 68 bridges across the country at risk of collapsing if hit by a large vessel. This comes after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Next week marks one year since that collapse. The bridge fell after a cargo ship passed underneath it and struck a pillar. Christina Burgess spoke with the engineer about why he thinks the Dames Point Bridge made the list. A bridge of this importance would need to have an evaluation done. Ron Woods is a structural engineer who is very familiar with the Dames Point Bridge in Jacksonville. It's a, it's a suspension bridge and it has a very robust structure. The suspension bridge's safety has been called into question by the National Transportation Safety Board. Woods believes the bridge was dinged because it was built in 1989 and hasn't undergone the vulnerability assessment developed by the American Association for State Highway and Transportation Officials in 1991. It, it's a, a very detailed uh, assessment. Um, that particular document is somewhere around 150 pages and it gives all of the criteria for uh, for doing the vulnerability assessment. The NTSB is calling on Federal Highway Administration, U.S. Coast Guard, and U.S. Army Corps engineers to come together and conduct the assessment. Wood says it could take up to six months to complete. Uh, hopefully the history of, of everything that went on with the construction is still available. Uh, that would help, and that, that helps in the analysis and the evaluation. Despite the bridge being one of 68 listed, this engineer says there are safeguards in place like these dolphins. The Florida Department of Transportation owns the Names Point Bridge. We reached out to FDOT about this report on Thursday and today. We were told we receive a statement from them today. Once we hear more from them, we will update you at First Coast News. In Jacksonville, Christina Burgess, First Coast News on your side.